Hello everybody, welcome to a sheepish look at Cradle. My name is Gana, and today we're looking at a game that I've absolutely fallen in love with. This game is just fantastic. It it reeks of awesomeness. I I just love um the immersive world that they've built and they've really built it and made it come to life. So let's just jump in right now and I'll just show it to you really quick. Alright, so I've skipped the tutorial um, because I want to spoil as little as possible of this game. I just want to get you interested. Um, basically, just all you know is your character just had a dream and you just wake up and you don't know where you are. So that's the, basically the premise of the game. Uh, the way it starts at least. Um, <clears throat> a few things to point out. The developers are Flying Cafe. They very generously gave me a key. Uh, I really want I really hope this game explodes. It's such an awesome game. Uh, oh, also, this is the first game I'm attempting to record at 60 FPS. If I upload it correctly, you should be able to change the settings and do that. Uh, the graphics aren't on the highest, by the way, because I don't know, I guess just my computer can't run it. Also, this is an early version of the game. The It's only got half of the story. Um, and in the final version, there will be full English, Ukrainian, and Russian voice acting. Alright, so let's get to the game itself. Uh, I'm going to show you more or less the first 15 minutes of the game. I've already played them. And we'll stop up to where I played. I think it was a good amount without spoiling too much of the story and whatever. I just want to show you how the game plays. I mean, just this world really, like, I kept gaping my mouth in awe. Like, it's just so beautiful and it really, there's so many details. Like, you can read everything you see. Everything. Like, look. Um, I don't know. Let's just open this random cupboard here. Look. You see these? You see these stickers? You can read them. I mean... You can open the drawer, and each like drawer is customized and really adds. Look, I can read every single thing in here. It's awesome, and it, it just it really makes the world feel real, and um, it just adds to the immersion so much. You can read so many things. You can interact with almost anything. Like, look at these clothes. Oh man, there's a newspaper there. But yeah, I'm not gonna obviously read these now in the video because that'll take too long. I just want to show you how the game is. Um, so you can interact with most things. You can throw them. <laughs> like that bouncy ball is pretty fun to play with. Um, you can press tab for a hint if you're uh, confused about what to do. You don't remember your name nor recognize where you are. The note on the table is penned by your hand. Read the note. Alright, so, uh, Tabaha, I got fat and now I smell bad. Turn off your nose and don't look at me. I don't say goodbye to Ongots. I didn't say goodbye to Ongots. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him, lest he gets sick. Follow this recipe. Heat the red pot, add a glass of water, blah, blah, blah. Um, this took me quite a while to figure out when I first played it. Um, I mean, just because I was exploring the world and, I don't know, just enjoying myself and interacting with everything. But yeah, um, so I obviously know what to do immediately. Well, kind of. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this. I think this is the red pot. There you go. Bam! It, it's really fun. Like, the interactivity is really cool. Add a glass of water. Okay, let's just use this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I just can't wait to show you how the, became, the game becomes, it's really, really cool. I mean, look at this reflection, it's actually like live. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Nice. All right. <laughs> nice. Oh, I should probably turn off the water. Don't waste water, kids. Remember, turn it off when you brush your teeth as well. All right, so next step, add a few cut plume olive oil fruits. There are plenty of them by the river or the lake. So, also, let's just, let me show you this building a bit. I, like, I love, I, I was just so curious about everything, and I was exploring, and man, this game is amazing. I love the world. Look, you can read everything. It just adds to the immersion, and you can interact with sort of different things. Like, who's this robot lady, you know? You can take off your head. You can take out her brain. Put it back in. Nice. Take out, like, sh she's missing components. I don't know, it's 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 awesome. It's so mysterious. I love, love games. It reminds me a lot of um some of those old point-and-click adventure games, where like Myst, for example, where you'd kind of just be dropped into a world, you had no idea what you were doing, and you had to just figure everything out. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. Let's throw it into the trash can. Oh, I guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> awesome. All right, welcome to Cradle. The world outside. Look at that beautiful skybox. And the music is amazing. I love this game. I, can't, I keep gushing over it. I, I love this game. Keep in mind, again, these aren't even the highest graphics. 
Um, I have anti-aliasing turned off and I think uh, the rest of the graphics are on medium. I'm not sure if it's to do with this being an early build or if just my computer can't run it. Either way, it still looks gorgeous. Alright, so um, I think it was these trees that I found the red fruit. Yep, the red fruit on the tree look edible. I'll try and find something to use them to use to knock them down. Alright, so this is a stick. Oh. Alright. Let's just... Uh, <laughs> no, wrong button. <laughs> Don't drop the stick on your face. Ugh. Ah, I love that. It's so satisfying. It's like a, a, a caveman, you know. I just put this in my inventory. So you can uh, put multiple things in your inventory. M most objects don't go into your inventory. Where's the stick? Oh, damn it. Ah, great. Where's the damn stick? But you, you do have inventory space, so you can't obviously carry infinite amount of objects. I don't know if this 60 FPS video is going to work or not, because I'm not even running the game at full 60 all the time. We'll see. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to cut till I find the stick. Okay, I can't find my stick, so I'm just going to attempt to get it with another fruit. It's probably going to fail, but... <laughs> no, I can't even throw that that high. Alright, let me try one more time while jumping as well. I'm just... Alright, let's get the lower one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Getting fruits with fruit. Awesome. I think two should be enough. Let's go back home. I don't need any sticks. Man, this music. I really could just get lost in this world looking around. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this is one of the most immersive games I've played in a while. Really, really cool stuff. <sighs> Let's go back to home sweet home and cook this stuff up. It's not actually for me though, is it? Yeah, it's Ongots. What was his name? Let's see. So what I have to do now with this fruit, yeah, on gods. Uh, I have to cut them. All right. Uh, oh man, my trash can's out of place. Oh well. All right. Here's a knife. Yep, I remembered correctly where it was. Awesome. All right. Let's just put this fruit here <clears throat> and cut it. Here we go. Oh, that is a satisfying sound. Really satisfying sound. Look how delicious that looks. I'll just pop it in here. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I just love the simple interactivity. It really. I keep. I keep blabbing on about immersiveness, but is that a word or immersivity? No, it's immersiveness, and uh, it's great. I love it. Oh man, see that we have put that knife. In? Ooh, damn. I'm good at putting knives into drawers. All right, that should be enough. I swear, I didn't even start heating this um let's put some uh some wood here but yeah again because i know where everything is this will take you a bit more time to figure it out but it's it's fun it goes with the uh with your character having i don't know some sort of amnesia like you don't know what's going on uh i need a lighter i need paper excuse me you can't light just wood let's put Let's put a... That should do, I think. Let's light that. Ooh! Man, that's satisfying. Let's not throw the light on the floor, actually. <laughs> Let's leave it on the table. Like a, a normal person. Whoa! Did you see that? That was amazing. Add dried root. That's the next step. Don't forget to grind it. Um, so, I can click here for... I mean, I don't know. Like, you don't know where the root is, you know? Um, but... Okay, I don't know why it's not appearing now. I remember last time I was looking around for a while and it said, there's some root hanging outside. And I came here and sure enough, there's some root hanging outside. Let's just grab two should be enough maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Ah, I love this. Um, but yeah, if if uh, you think that there's nothing interesting happening yet, just wait a bit. Nice throwing expensive technology around. Uh, I need to grind this up. Uh, I think it was here. This took me forever to find. <laughs> there. Uh, let's just put this down and bring this. All right. Um, but yeah, this is <laughs> so long to find. Let's just shove two in there and grind them up. But yeah, um, there will be a lot more interesting stuff happening. It's just, it's all about immersing you in the world, making it feel real, and then you, um, and then you start getting into the story. 
Add salt in the water will turn orange. Return the salt jar to its place right of the pepper as Grandpa Bajin instructed. This also took me forever, <laughs> but I found it eventually. Like, I love that you can read everything. Uh, but yeah, I think I think this was salt. It took me a very long time to find. Bam, it's orange. And the salt was um, to the right of the pepper, so I guess this is pepper. Bam! Awesome. And now let's check here. Are we done? Cook it until it's done. Ongots will show up as soon as he smells the food. You can sell all the stuff if you like and toss the body in the river. It won't be coming back. Toss the body in the river. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> oh man. Man, that's a beautiful creature. Nice. It's so nicely animated. It looks amazing. Hey, buddy. Hey. You like the food I'm cooking? I should open Eagle Restaurant. Oh. You're a big guy, aren't you? He's got like a vest. Alright, let's bring him the food. You're hungry? Oh, man, this does look pretty nice. Looks as. I, I don't know if it looks nice or horrible. I think it looks nice. Let's put it here for you. Go on, eat up. I worked pretty hard for this. Like, sure, I figured out how to cook it now in like three minutes. But it took me about one hour last time. Wow, oh, he didn't even finish it. How rude. Maybe he's waiting for it to cool down. Alright. Making progress. New task added. The eagle cannot speak, but may still be of use to you. Change him. Replace On God's vest. Alright, it's a pretty cool looking vest. Oh, nice, nice gem thing there. Oh, damn. And here's where you start to feel like stuff is weird. Stuff is very, very strange. Uh, if I remember correctly, there it was. Oh, this music is nice. So cool looking. What's going on? Oh, I noticed a similarity to that. Look here. I found this T-shirt with this thing, and I'm wondering, like, is our character like that as well? Oh, the vest has some numbers on it. Was it this one? Yeah, two zero five three. And I think you register it into this. Yeah, obviously I'm just solving all the puzzles now, but. You know, it's just the beginning. There's gonna be there's still a lot more to the game. I just want to show you a bit to get you like excited for how the game is. Uh, the, I read all of this. It's very interesting, but I'm not gonna go through it now. Um, this also kind of lets you. I mean, you can read it if you want. You can pause the video, but I'm not gonna go through that now. Uh, it's very interesting. Very very interesting story. You definitely should read it when you get the game. Um, <laughs> also, uh, I should mention from now. There's a link in the description to buy the game when it's out. Right now it's not out. Uh, but as soon as a store page appears for it, I will link it in the description. Let me try find my cash. Perhaps old things something. Child stash is hidden somewhere nearby. Come out of- oh yeah, this was a hint that was in the tablet by the way. Um, come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. Nice rhyming. So I'm just going to go straight out of this yurt. Oh, I should mention, <laughs> because I just love small details like this to, again, make the world feel more real. Look at this texture! Look how nice it is, the stain and the, the cloth, and it's so nice. It's so, so nice. I love this game. I freaking love this game so much. Alright, I'm just going to go straight. Um, I love, I love stuff like this as well, like looking for uh, clues. It's like a pirate, you know, you got to find the X. Here's the arrow. By the way, I mean, you could always, if you want to avoid being spoiled um, for stuff in this video, you could always skip through, but again, I'm not showing much. Just enough to get you interested. To show you the variety that this game has. Nice, there's an arrow to the right there. And I think we're at the stash now. 
Somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Man, this mystery. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> it's a cute toy. Yeah, this music. It's almost creepily eerie and beautiful and I absolutely love this music. Um, so let's go back home then. Like really, it's it's almost disturbing. I don't know, I love it. I'm just gonna be quiet now so you can listen to it. See that last time. Cool. Let's look at that ominous building over there in the distance. Man, I love this. Like, look how just interactive this place is. It's so. You can turn on this radio with some really awesome music. All right. So um, we've got. I think this is like a brain piece. Yep. This. So this is an old one. Let's try to shove this in here. And close your head up. Let's try this. <laughs> some intense stuff. Alright. So we've got some components missing. Um, I remember exactly where they are. But it took me a long time to find them again before. Because I didn't understand something. Because it mentioned a yellow table and I wasn't sure. That you, I didn't realize that you could take these parts off of that device. Alright, so let's try to fix her up now. And we should be getting close to the end of the video. So what is this, like some heart? And this should be the other piece. Bam. That should do it. Here you go, lady. Let's try this. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a mulger? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida, and I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cash you made when you were a child. Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? 
Ongots brought it, my father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Enabish. I feel ill at ease here, and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe, a sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program, transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right, a temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, Passium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became... Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although... There were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special, somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. It looks the part. M-body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. All right. I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. All right. And there we have it. Ah, oh, interesting story. I really love the song on this radio. Anyway, um, I think you've seen enough. I don't want to spoil any more of the game. Uh, one pretty cool feature I like is that you can load and just uh, go back to chapters that you've reached 
and the other ones are like blurred out or whatever. But yeah, the bar is going to be even bigger, I'm assuming, because uh, the developers told me that this is only half of the story that's been implemented so far. I don't know if if um, this is all the beginning or if maybe they would implement things within the chapters that we've played now, although I doubt it. It probably just means it continues later on. Anyway, um, if you like the look of this game, again, link in the description to buy it when it's available. If there's no link right now, then just come back after the game is available, or just keep checking in and I'll link it when it is available. Uh, but yeah, please support the game, the developers really deserve it. Uh, and like and share the video, please, it helps me out as well. And uh, I'll leave you with this amazing view. Thank you for watching everybody, I love you, goodbye.